Hello folks, this is Steve AB for you. Well, for my heart health, I mowed twice today. And did some videos of curbside wildflowers. You'll be seeing them. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm, I came in, I'm sitting down, I'm sweating. I'm just trying to rest up for a minute, you know, so I'm watching the dumb stuff on the, on the web. And I saw something that made me like ring a bell. Did I hear about that? Biden gets a CPAP machine. That's what I did the search on. Now you'll see why in a minute why I, <clears throat> I saw something online and I went, CPAP machine? Didn't I hear that Biden is... So these are YouTube videos a month ago. Biden using CPAP machine, sleep apnea, you're sleeping, and then suddenly you stop breathing, but you don't know it. The CPAP machine helps you with it. I read the definition. <clears throat> you don't want to hold your breath too long, even when you're awake. Biden using CPAP machine to treat sleep apnea. It makes it sound like they just discovered that he has sleep apnea. I think that was the impression I had when I read the news article. White House, oh, that was uh, CBS Evening News. CBS New York, White House confirms President Biden using uses CPAP machine. White House announces President Biden is using a CPAP. Why are those all CBS? President Biden uses device for sleep apnea. AP News. President Biden has started using a CPAP machine at night to deal with sleep apnea. So I guess when it's a written newspaper kind of style article, they can actually tell you something that's the details, whereas if it's a CBS Nightly News, we got to squeeze it in three seconds. They leave you hanging. Television is so brain dead, it's incredible. June 28th, yeah, I think it was that, well, they said a month ago, and it's the per early part of August, so yeah, end of June, a month ago. <clears throat> Washington, President Biden in recent weeks has started using a continuous positive airway pressure. Now we know what CPAP means. It's like IHOP is International House of Pancakes. Nobody says that anymore. A CPAP machine at night to help with sleep apnea. I know what that is. That's when I said, you're snoring along and then suddenly you just stop breathing. So I guess it makes them breathe again. The, the oh, <clears throat> oh, this, I didn't know this. The revelation comes after indents from the mask were visible on the president's face as he departed the White House. So they must have seen new. Do you think he's got it on too tight? Now, wait a minute. What's this next paragraph? I think we're going to start to understand you know, people make a lot of jokes about the president. It's really unfair. It's like he's 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 giving a, a a public he's saying something in public and he doesn't have a, a teleprompter and he'll get to like the middle of it. I've seen it over and over again. People tell me about it. Remember, I don't watch television. And he gets to the middle of a sentence and then he can't remember what he was talking about. Pay attention. Pay attention to this video. See how long it goes on. 
and see if I stop in the middle of a sentence and can't remember what I was talking about. The president has, I noticed they didn't capitalize the word president. They're supposed to. It refers to the number one. It's like my father. You're supposed to capitalize the word with an F. My mother is supposed to be a capital. Oh, wait a minute. I got my education in the Stone Age. I'm sorry. Excuse me. The president has disclosed since 2008 a history with sleep apnea. You know how he, he grimaces and squints all the time? He's probably falling asleep during the day, just like he does at night with the sleep apnea. What if he stops breathing for a long time? Does that affect you during the day? It's like not sleeping, right? A potentially serious but common condition in which breathing can stop and start at night. Biden used the machine Tuesday night, so that's around the 25th of June. White House officials said the imprint lines on his face were apparent when he left Wednesday morning. He just had that on too tight. I'll bet you that's what it is. You know, when my brother was racing cars, you have to have a fire suit on, a helmet, and you had to have goggles. Yeah, you're inside of a race car. There's all kinds of dirt kicking up. You don't adjust it so you've got imprints on your face, do you? A CPAP machine is a motorized device that pumps air through a mask. Well, you mean like the... What's that guy in the movies that does all these special things with the airplane and out, out maneuvers everybody? He's got one of those on too. Is that a CPAP mask? Oh, you need that when you go up to 70,000 feet because above about 3,000 feet, the air gets thin, right? A CPAP machine is a motorized device that pumps air through a mask to open a sleeper's airways. So he's got adenoids. And his tongue, tongue is falling down his throat. There you go. About 5 million Americans have tried them. I wonder why they say tried. Why don't they say are using? While this, oh, here. While his, first time I'm reading this. While his history with the condition has long been disclosed, it didn't come up during his most recent physical in February. When he was vice president, doctors noted Biden had an irregular heartbeat, probably linked to apnea. And then they tell us that he's an 80-year-old president and he's running for re-election and he would be the, and is the oldest person ever to hold the highest office. Well, I was searching around and that kind of led to something else. Now I know what's wrong. I bet you he, he's got to watch out. Sleep apnea device recall drags on stoking frustration. A massive recall of millions of sleep apnea machines. This is October 2020. I hope we didn't get one of these machines. Has stoked anger and frustration among patients and the U.S. officials are weighing unprecedented Legal action to speed up a replacement effort. Well, what's wrong? Sound dampening foam in the pressurized breathing machine, the machine with the motor in it, can break down over time, leading users to potentially inhale tiny black particles or hazardous chemicals while they sleep. Now we know what's wrong with Biden. That's it.
So then I did some more research, and it's amazing when you start looking for one thing, it takes you to others that are, oh, it's kind of like mind wandering. And then if you notice the relationship, you're brainstorming it. PAP data delay patient FAQ ResMed. One of them was, a, it used to be called Twitter. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look, excuse me for getting off the topic. You see how this is on? It still says Twitter.com. But you see where it says X over here? But over here it says new to Twitter. A lot of people are, are still brain dead. ResMed. I think that's a CPAP machine company. We're currently experiencing delays in showing your sleep therapy data in my air. Rest assured. They got to show me that there's cookies. Now listen to this. Maybe this is screwing up the president too. PAP device data transmission status update. This is for the patients and the ones who are you. We'll look at the healthcare professional link after, but I'm just, now hang on. Data transmission status update. We continue to experience delays, syncing data from your ResMed PAP device into the My Air app. My Air by ResMed. This is Google Play. Take charge of your sleep therapy success with my air. I'm not promoting anything. I'm not recommending anything. I'm reading it. An exclusive app available to ResMed AirSense and AirCurve users. July 7th, 2023. Data safety. Safety starts with understanding how developers collect and share your data. I'm guessing that must be from the CPAP machine. Data privacy and security practices vary based on your use, region, and air. The developers provided this. Why does the data, why does the data after putting the mask back on not show up? The app is worthless to me unless it gives me a complete picture. And the machine is apparently in, this is August 3rd, 2023. That's this past, this past week. Twice in less than three months, I have been using it. There's been a data delay of several days. Finally, why not let the machine send the data to the phone or tablet since there's an otherwise pointless Bluetooth some more app? And then ResMed answered him on my Google Play. Hi, Vaughn. This can happen if the connection is slow or interrupted during data upload, why would that happen? When this occurs one session, let's get back to the notice. I think it's related. We recently sent an over, now listen to this. I read this and I couldn't believe it. You know how we keep hearing about the hacking into hospitals and schools and government agencies and into your computers and into your home IP cameras and all that kind of stuff. The bad guys are doing that. And then this week, today's Friday, this week was Patch Tuesday with Microsoft. I'm just waiting for all the reports about the screw-ups, the bug fixes that create more bugs. Listen to this one. Listen to the, you've heard me accuse Microsoft of not doing any testing. 
I used to be a software tester. I can tell they don't do any testing. I'm going to, well, as I read this, I want you to have a question in your head. Did these people do any testing or not? We continue to experience delays. See, the CPAP machine apparently sends the data to ResMed. By the way, I looked it up. ResMed's in Australia. Notice how I said that. They're in Oz. Australia. We continue to experience delays syncing your ResMed PAP data into the MyAir app. We recently sent an, <clears throat> now listen to this. Talk about, we recently sent an over the air firmware update. Okay. So that means they do use cellular communication to these devices over the air. They didn't say over the internet. We recently sent an over the air firmware. What's the firmware? When you turn your computer on, the firmware boots it up, makes sure it figures out how many de devices you have, what they are, and so on, and reconfirms it, and then starts the operating system. It enumerates your hardware, and then it jumps into, like if you have Windows or you have the iMac, or if you have Linux, it jumps into the start point of that, and then that starts your computer as you know it. So if the firmware gets busted somehow, it's a piece of junk. It doesn't do anything. It won't even boot. Or it'll boot and give you a black screen or something like that. We recently sent an over-the-air firmware update that introduced two new features. Oh, that's the whole point about Windows 11. Windows 10 is not good enough. We couldn't cram enough new features into that. We've got to have a whole new Windows. And that's where all the bugs are. All the new features. Betcha. To, that introduced two new features and, and, and an improvement to the communications capabilities of the AirSense 11. That must be a model name. Communication, oh, they're spying on you more? This had an unintended, uh-oh, that's a bad word. That's a bad word. This had an unintended impact of significantly increasing the amount of data being sent between the therapy devices, that would be the CPAP machine, and the ResMed AirView cloud servers. You've seen me do these uh, videos about when, like AWS, which also rents out its machine for cloud services, and Azure, Microsoft, when they have major disruptions, you find that other kinds of things that you didn't know had anything to do with that don't work until they can get those cloud services back online. Remember the one about if you had a, 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 a network attached device on the other side of the room on your local network, but the people who sold it to, to you, they didn't tell you that the app actually, in order to see what's on that device, you have to communicate with them in, in California. And when they go down, you can't look inside of the, the, your hard drives on the other side of the room. That's what they're saying here. Only they're saying... We were so smart about what we did, it sends so much data that we can't handle it. They hacked themselves. They screwed themselves. Well, you would think they would just immediately do another firmware update, wouldn't they? Cut that out? Regress them back to what they were? Wait a minute. I haven't read this. 
This had an unintended impact of significant, excuse my editorializing between the lines with what they're saying. Remember, I used to be an IT professional. Significantly increasing the amount of data being sent between the therapy devices and the ResMed AirView cloud server, resulting in backlogged and delayed data in my air and care provider systems. Care provider systems. That must be the doctor's office. So I think what they're saying there is, oh, they're spying on you every night? That's what it means. Your CPAP machine is taking care of you and it's telling us, the people who made the machine, what's happening every night and we're telling your doctor that wrote the prescription for the machine what's happening every night. Care provider systems, doctor's offices, hospitals. We know how important access to your data is, which means that if you were trying to follow how you did last night, apnea, how many times you stop breathing? Me, they can't tell how often the president stopped breathing last night. They'd have to sit there with, or have a camera on him and have somebody watch it instead of being able to get right off the machine. Is that why when he's talking without a teleprompter, he gets in the middle of a sentence and he can't remember what he's saying? We know how important access to your data is and we're working around the clock. Notice how they always say it the same way. To resolve the delay. So your data can be updated as soon as possible. Your data is safe and still being stored on your device. I made a video about a medical device I had and I showed you that I figured out that medical device was transmitting it using cellular phone And when AWS went down for a day and a half, two and a half days on the East Coast, that couldn't send the data. Every time I turn it on to let it try to send it again, you turn it off and you try like six hours later. But finally, after the two and a half days, it, it was able to send it. And then I saw on like bleeping computer how AWS was down for exactly that time period. That's what's going on. They're overwhelming how much capacity they have bought from like AWS or Azure or the other ones. And your data is not getting sent. Your doctor's not seeing it in real time, next day, whatever. But don't worry, it's stored on your machine and we can get it when we finally figure out how to screw, how we can figure out fixing up this screw up. See, I'm not using the kind of words they would. It's like they hacked themselves. Your data is safe and still being stored on your device where it can be viewed with the My Sleep View function on the device itself. We expect the data to be restored in the something and something over the next few weeks at which time you and your provider, that would be your doctor, will be able to view your therapy and adherence data. What does that mean? Adherence data. On these platforms once again. Now, wait a minute. I got a question. The news said that he started using a CPAP machine. I'm talking about Biden. He's in the White House, or he's in, but he's surrounded by Secret Service, right? High security. Now, here's a question. Wait a minute. If, is he using a machine that sends data every day out of the White House without being checked by the CIA and the NSA and the FBI and the Secret Service?
Because the way this is written, the way this is written, it sounds like the normal functioning is you go to bed, you put the CPAP thing on or whatever it is. I've seen pictures of it. Remember, you have something on his face. And it says that basically this is saying it's supposed to be sending the data to them. In this case, Australia. Every day. So that they can process it in your doctor and then you can see what the nightly data was. So are they is the White House letting what's happening to him during his sleep go out into the world? So you don't know who they are and they're having trouble. They, they're, they've lost control of this. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's it. It's safe. They screwed up and they can't get any of the data. The president is safe. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Well, this is a current web page. And I'm assuming that it's true for today, the 11th of August, 2023. Now let's click on this. It might be verbatim the same. It is. So, so wait a minute. So the notice they're sending to the patients is the same Frequently asked questions. Why did the over the air update cause the Oh, let's let's find out what that said. I didn't notice this before. <clears throat> we have identified the root cause of the latest reported device data delays. In late July, first time I'm reading it. In late July, we rolled out an over the air firmware update to Dremna to introduce two new features. It had the unintended consequence. They're just repeating themselves. What was included in the latest over? The, they just blah, 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 blah. They're not going to tell us anything. <clears throat> okay, here we go. In our most recent over the air update, we introduced two new enhancements care check in improvements enabling visibility of your. My Air survey responses for your care provider requires patient opt in via the My Air. Okay, I think what they're saying is that there's something that gets sent from your machine, but you can look at it on a on your computer. And Bluetooth oximetry functionality. Now, why would they need Bluetooth oximetry? Bluetooth is just a communication device to your computer. Pulse oximeter Bluetooth. Yeah, you don't have to put it on your finger. Walmart. Pulse oximeter Bluetooth. Oh, I see what it is. It's the regular finger oximeter pulsimeter, but if you leave, if you turn the Bluetooth on, your computer can be listening to the data, and then I can see what it is here, that on a device like that, yeah, you can look at it over time. Instead of sitting there and watching it, you can just let it record and then go back and see what the data was and what did your heart rate change or anything like that. Okay, I got it now. So somehow, oh, I can see how that would send more data. I can see how this feature would send more data. Only the, oh, I got it. I understand what happened. 
See, you CPAP is when you go to sleep. So let's say the president, Biden, sleeps for eight hours. There's no threat of nuclear war, so they don't wake him up at three in the morning saying, we need you to dial in the bombers to go, the missiles to go. So let's assume that he goes to bed at uh, 11 p.m. and he gets up normally at, let's say, 7 a.m., eight hours sleep. A CPAP machine helps you breathe, but maybe you want to watch your oxygenation and your pulse rate simultaneously. So they were going to build into that. Oh, I see how that goes. They probably are saying there's some add-on thing that you can put on your finger. Let's take an example, like what we saw on Amazon. And it doesn't transmit it to your, to your computer or something. It transmits it to the CPAP machine. That way you don't have to have any wires. And then it's sending that along with whatever they were sending already. Oh, I can see how that would be a data overload because now they've got eight hours of extra data. And let's say they took a reading every second. They weren't smart about it and they were sending a data packet every second. And then everybody in the world that has their machines, suddenly it's like it's 10, 20, 100 times as much data. I don't think they did any testing. Oh, I started with that. I don't think they did any testing. I think they were so, so happy with what, what kind of geniuses they are that they forgot to try it for real. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I've got it. They did it for real, but nobody did the arithmetic. What do I mean? <clears throat> Remember, I used to be a software tester. So now I'm thinking about this as a software tester. <coughs> they were getting more data sent. <clears throat> but since they were doing it only with like uh, one person or 10 people in a lab, they never stopped to think how much more data that was, and then multiply it by how many people use CPAP machines. Let's get a number. <clears throat> it says here that at least 8 million people sleep with a CPAP machine every night. And I think they probably mean in the United States. So multiply that extra data by 8 million. Only they didn't think to do it. And test, somehow do a test of that data low. But here's the big question. Here's the big thing. When do we expect the issue to be resolved? Excuse me for going on. Over the next few weeks, we will be up, we will be deploying the updates to cloud connected devices with the aim of reducing the bill. They're not answering. Do I need to, oh, do I need to worry about the security of my data within your servers? Is this a server security issue? See, the president's data is going up there too. Delays in getting therapy data from patients to your service does not present a security issue. Data and system security are treated with the highest, of course, of course, unless they don't know that there's hackers in there. And a core tenant of platform infrastructure. Well, they all say that, but they still get hacked. You should see the hacker news this week. Unbelievable. Our servers are built on the principle of privacy by design with data security specialists involved in all steps, except that they didn't do any testing about 
what would happen with the additional load. It just didn't occur to them. They were concentrating on data security, not data quantity transmission and storage and processing and retransmission back to you. Can you tell I used to be a software engineer? I retired as a software engineer for an internationally known, internationally operating IT company. See how I'm going on and on about this? What do you think I think about this company? Do I think they're the most brilliant people in Australia that they, in the world? Your data is secure within our servers. Actually, your data is secure within your machine because they can't send it to the servers. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Is my healthcare provider able to see my CPAP use data for insurance purposes? Has this got something to do with? If your provider cannot view your most recent therapy use data remotely due to a data delay, they can assess this information for up to 365 days of summer use data using an SD card. Oh, that's what they mean by it's stored in your machine. There's also an SD card. But that means you have to take the SD card to your doctor or the machine to your doctor to get it out? When using an SD card, I notice they don't say micro SD. For data sharing, please follow the instructions provided in the user guide. Please note SD cards are not included in all AirSense devices. Well, if they're not included in all devices, how do you know which ones have the data secured and which ones don't while they can't transmit it? Can you tell that I used to be a software tester? The point about a software tester is to be the developer's worst enemy. Pick on everything they did wrong and got only 50% right. Why? so that the customer won't have any bad experiences. You fix it all before it ships. Oh, they didn't do any testing. You fix it all before it ships. They ship the firmware update over the cellular to millions of machines and now they're screwed because they didn't do any testing. Oh, they're showing you how to get it out of there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How can I provide proof of my CPAP utilization if required by my employer? Huh? Oh, that's good. It may be that you've had trouble with falling asleep on the job and they were gonna, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, and they were gonna fire you, but what happened was they're very uh, liberal and they said, <coughs> If you get medical help, oh, if you get medical help, like let's say you're an emergency room doctor and you have to be on call for 48 hours, which means you sleep at the hospital, but you have to be top ship shape. Or you're a 9-11 operator at home and they don't want you snoozing off because they're a murder, possible murder call comes in and they don't want you to be so, you can't even figure out where you are because you, your sleep, your, your apnea only let you sleep for two hours last night. Can I, how can I provide proof of my CPAP utilization required by my employer? I never thought of that. If my, why is my data not transmitting if Bluetooth shows it is connected? Oh, but they don't understand that the Bluetooth, wait a minute, I want to see this one. Because I said that would be a, <clears throat> oh, you got a pulsimeter oximeter, the Bluetooth talks to the CPAP machine, and that's supposed to go out too, and that's the reason why their cloud servers are overwhelmed. AirSense 11 includes Bluetooth technology to enable connection of Bluetooth oximetry and my air for both personal therapy assist and test drive, whatever that is, 
while Bluetooth is used for transfer of information for those specific features, we use, oh, there's the direct confer. We use cellular capability on the device to transfer therapy. See, they're gobbledygooking people because they assume that patients are totally stupid. They should come out and say that the Bluetooth only works. Wait a minute, I could be wrong. <clears throat> the Bluetooth could be working with your tablet and the tablet could be independently using the cell tower or internet, nonetheless, to the cloud service. So it doesn't make any difference whether the extra, extra data overload is going through cellular or going through the internet. The point is that it all ends up at the cloud servers and they can't handle it. I can see right through what they're saying. I used to be a software tester and I retired as a software engineer. How come I received my air coaching emails that I'm not using my device? They, these no data coaching emails are automated and designed to identify when a user's device is not transmitting therapy data and they admit that it's not, most of them are not getting the data through. What do you think about this company? And designed to identify when the user's device not transmitting therapy data with the objective of helping the user troubleshoot and resolve the issue. So why don't they turn it off? If they know that it's BS. Let's see if it says it in the next paragraph. We understand that in this scenario where there's an issue involving data transmission for the device, this can be confusing and frustrating. Why don't you turn it off? I can tell you why. They don't dare do it because some of them are getting through, but most are not. If they shut off all of them, then if a accident occurs, a medical accident occurs, they're liable. So they keep on sending, even though that maybe eight out of 10, it's bothering the hell out of them because it's coming every day. And why would it be coming every day? Didn't you use your CPAP machine last night? What's the matter with you? And you, you keep getting that every day. And you go, yes, I did. What's the matter with you? And then they just do this to you. We appreciate, we have appreciated the feedback on this topic. And as of August 4th, 2023, we have temper, oh, we have temporarily disabled the no data coaching capability in light of ongoing data deletes. We apologize. Oh, so I was wrong. They did turn it off. And now you understand what's wrong with the president. He's caught in the middle of that. He's using a CPAP machine and Steve A.B. Foyer, an idiot running his mouth. I have absolutely no idea what I've been talking about. I'm just having fun. We'll all wish we were back living in caves before this is all over. The simple life, saying, see you in 73.